Hello techies. Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. By using or by adding UI elements, we can directly interact with Windows and web application. Power Automate Desktop utilizes these UI elements to identify Windows and web and their respective UI elements. These captured UI elements are divided into two main categories based on the type of application based on the type of application they were captured from. One is UI controls, another one web controls. Any captured UI elements that are part of the web page that are compatible with web browser such as Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, and Google Chrome are automatically saved as web controls. And these UI elements may be used as input to web automation action. All other elements are captured as considered as UI controls and may be used these in respective actions while UI automation. In this tutorial, I will show you how to capture web UI elements and also I will show you how to rename or delete these UI elements. First of all, let me show you the project which I'm going to capture these web UI elements. I have opened localhost slash employee registration dot HTML on my Google Chrome. Along with that, in my Internet Explorer, I have opened the same URL for the registration form. Why I have opened these two browsers over here? To make you understand when I'm capturing this Google Chrome UI elements or when I'm going to capture Internet Explorer browser UI elements, how it is going to be capturing the elements by using UI elements. There are three ways to capture the UI elements. First one, by using UI elements group. You can find it on the right hand side. Over here, you can see UI elements. From here, you can add the UI elements. That is the first one. Second one, by using UI automation or web automation, you can capture the UI elements. So how can we go ahead and do that? I will show you that. And the third one, by using web recorder. Now, in this tutorial, I will show you two ways. One is by using UI elements group that we can go ahead and we can add the UI elements. And after that, by using web automation, how to capture the UI element. These two things I will show you right now. And I'm parking this web recorder for the later part of the sessions. All right. Now, let me start with add UI elements. When you click on the UI elements group, there you will find the UI elements. Under that, you can see as of now, no UI elements to display. To add the, all the UI elements, so what we have to do, add to click on the add UI elements. Click on that. And if you see over here, I have already opened two browsers over here. One is Google Chrome related, another one internet related. When I'm going to select Google Chrome, Okay, now if you see, this is the tracking session will be opened over here. Now I want to track or capture each and every UI element which we have in this Google Chrome. Over here, if you see over here, now whenever I'm going to mouse over over here, it is going to be identifying all the UI elements, such as you can see over here, this is the table data that is TD. You can find images over here. And after that, you can see the H2 header session and after that, you can find inputs, radio button, check boxes, text area, drop down, and buttons. And many more you have. You are having links, you can have the downloads, you can have n number of things that you are going to capture. So while you are going to capture, so what you have to do first, you have to mouse over on the particular UI element. And then once you can find in a such a way, select that control on your keyboard and then left click to add from your mouse. Now you can see over here, when I have clicked on control at the same time, I have clicked on my left button of the mouse that the UI element has been captured. Now let me show you once again over here. Now if you see over here, the localhost slash employee registration dot HTML on the type is input. And you can see these are also the pan related. If you are going to editing and you can see the all the captured one. 
All right. Now, in the same way, if we see the radio buttons, I'm going to do the same thing. You can see input radio, that is radio button, and you can see the IDs over here that is having Gmail, like gender mail, employee name. Now, I'm going to select in the same way the checkbox. I'm going to do that. Now, if you see, this is the input type with a checkbox, and the ID is department medical. Now, in the same way, I'm going to do that for the drop down. Over here, you can see select default. All right. In a such a way, I will capture all the related UI elements which I need to do for the automation. All right. Now I'm going to click on submit to capture button related UI elements. All right. Now, if you see observe over here that I'm having web page that is in the Google Chrome that is tracking in the Google Chrome. Now, what will happen if I'm going to do the same thing in the Internet Explorer? Now I'm going to select one of the input that is employee name itself. Now, if you see over here, this is employee name hyphen two has been captured. And also if you see over here, this based on the compatibility of this one, this is all the things are going to be identifying. All right. Now, if you see, I have captured all the things which are related to the application that is web application that have captured all the UI elements. All right. Let me click on done for the tracking session. Now, if you observe, once we have captured and if we click on done, all the elements, UI elements have been stored in this UI elements group that you can see all these things that is that is related to Google Chrome that we are having the editor here for the web page related, all the things that you can see over here, all the UI elements. This is one of the way where we are going to capture and adding UI elements. All right. Now I will show you the another way that to capture the UI elements, web UI elements. Now what I will do, I'm going to select one of the web form filling from the web automation. Let me drag and drop. And over here, if you see over here, if I'm having UI element over here, let me drop down over that one. And you can see over here, and also I'm getting the same UI element over here also. But if you observe out of, if I have captured few of the elements, but I have missed some of the UI elements from adding this UI elements, then in that case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add that new UI element from the particular action of the web automation. Now, if you see over here, I'm going to click on add a new UI item. In the same way, what I can do over here, you can see I'm going to select reset all button. Let me select that by clicking on control and left click of the mouse. I'm going to capture this. And you can see over here that I'm having Internet Explorer related. This is browser based compatible, right? Now, if I'm going to select once again this, this submit also, you can see over here, the button is coming under that one as the input submit. All right. Let's click on done. Now, if you observe over here, what are the newly captured UI elements has saved under the UI elements over here? You can see over here, just now we have added one of the new UI element that is button with the name of reset all. All these things have been saved under the UI elements group. Now, I will show you how to rename UI elements. Over here, if you see, I'm having all the UI elements that are saved at one location under UI elements, right? Now let's assume I want to rename one of the element that is UI element as part of this UI element. How can I go ahead and do that? Over here, just click on the UI element over here and you can see three dots over here. Just select that three dots over here and there you will find rename UI element, select that. And if you want to give any name over there for the UI element, just go ahead and give it as the name respective that you want to rename it. Over here, what I have done, I have renamed employee name UI element to employee name hyphen copy. All right. Now, the reason is that you can see sometimes that we are having without IDs that is going to be capturing. In that case, it is very difficult to identify what is this UI element related to. In that case, we are going to rename this by using rename UI element and the respective name we are going to rename for the UI element. All right. Now we will know how to delete the UI elements. So the reason is that 
if you observe over here i'm already having employee name and you can see there are multiple times i have captured the employee name but there is no use with these ui elements in this case that i'm going to delete these ui elements by using delete ui element how i am going to do that just i'm going to select the particular ui element and then I'm going to select these three dots over here and then I'm going to click on delete UI element. That's it. That's simple that we are going to delete this UI elements. All right. Now I will show you one more feature over here. If you are having, if you observe the web UI elements, we are having a lot of UI elements that we need to capture at the real time scenario. And also it is very difficult to, you know, search which element that they're available under the UI elements. If you observe over here, there is a lot of elements all there right now. Now I want to search for the UI element. Now simply I will go ahead and I will give the name over there that Gmail, nothing but gender mail. I want to search it out. In that case, I'm going to give the name over here by using search UI elements. That is the beautiful features that what we have in the Power Automate desktop for the UI elements or for the UI automation. In the upcoming session, I will explain you in detail what are the actions that we are going to use as part of the web automation. In a such a way, we will work with web data extraction, web form fillings, and also we will work with launching different Internet Explorer different browsers by using launch new Internet Explorer action and other actions which are compatible with that particular browser. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye bye. Have a wonderful day.